folks. Today you better bring your golf clubs because we're going to be talking golfing in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains. But before we get to that, as always, if you're looking to buy or sell, please click on the appropriate link below. Golfing in the mountains is a blast. I've played many of the courses in my home state of Florida, but if you want to have a good time, come to the mountains and golf. Uh, it's one of the most common questions I get is, what's there to do up here? Well, I can tell you if you're a golfer, you found paradise. We have six great courses in our local area, and there's nothing like being on the top of a ridge and trying to stick a green well below you. It's a lot of fun. So let's, let's look at a few of our courses. The first course is over in Murphy, North Carolina. Uh, it's an older course, but a wide open course. And if you're coming up to play that course, which is Cherokee Hills, bring a little extra cash, because as many of you know, they just opened up a big new casino there. Uh, again, it's a little older, but it is a wide open course. Next, come over from Murphy, North Carolina to Clay County or Hayesville, North Carolina, and there's two nice courses there. There's a county-owned course called Chatoug Shores course, and it kind of says it all in its name. It's right on the shores of beautiful Lake Chatoug. It's a beautiful course. You're, you're framed in by the mountains, and you've got the lake meandering periodically through the course. It's a tight course. You better stick it or you're going to be walking down some slopes but it is a fun course and it's really reasonably priced because it, again it's a county course. Next in Clay County is the Ridges. The Ridges at Mountain Harbor is a uh, nice course just, just bought by the Homeowners Association within the past let's say six months to a year. Very nice course, magnificent multi-million dollar clubhouse pool area but the course itself is a lot of fun. Uh, there's some tight holes, there's some wide open spaces. Uh, that's the course where on one of the greens or one of the ways you're way up high and you just have to nail a little chasm that jets out or your ball's lost. Uh, a lot of fun on that course. Next, you want to come over to the Georgia side and play Brasstown Valley Resort. That's probably the premier course in the area. Spectacular, wide open, long course. Plays big, plays long. Uh, you better bring your A game. You better bring some strong woods that day because you're going to be hitting it far. Uh, great course. Uh, again, it's at Brasstown Valley Resort. A lot to do there. A lot to do. Uh, they have some nice golf packages. Before I moved up here, I used to come up and play two rounds here, and I'd travel over to Waynesville and play uh, two rounds the following day. And Brasstown Valley is a premier course. You will enjoy Brasstown Valley. Next, we want to go over to Union County, Blairsville. Blairsville has two nice courses. I have not had the opportunity to play them, but I've been all over them. Uh, my sons play junior golf, and I follow them in the cart. Uh, the Butternut Creek course, their clubhouse got a revamp within the past few years. Nice clubhouse, nice tight course, uh, very pretty. Again, you're framed in by the mountains. You've got streams, creeks, ponds, just a nice course. Uh, finally, and this is the newest course in our area, is Old Union. It's a new subdivision that's built between Murphy and Blairsville. It's a nice course. It's more of a wide open course. But those are the six courses uh, to play in our area. Uh, they're challenging. They're very challenging. Whether you're looking for a tight, short course such as you can find over on the shores of Lake Chatoug or you're looking for a challenging, all out, wide open course as Brasstown Valley provides. You're going to enjoy yourself golfing in the mountains. And if you're looking to buy or sell golf course community property up here, please give me a call. Again, my name is Rick Andrews. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.